Welcome to Bethesda. We have no games. Instead, we have kids going to school. Why are we watching the Nintendo conference? We put the wrong one on. You know the Nintendo one would have more like college is students it, right now. Working. We come from different backgrounds. Okay, I don't know what all this stuff is. Should I try messing with it? Uh, I don't know. Let's try and we didn't see any of this when we were on the um when we were on the Xbox one. We're using the PS4's built-in nonsense to do this because I was having problems recording it off my computer. And we don't know we don't know what the PS4 does and does not like when we're watching Twitch. Because we can't use the Twitch app because you have to you have to enable HDCP to do that crap. Alright. Is there any way to you know, let's see. Here is there we go. Way to we're this? doing live testing. Alright. Extensions? I don't think so, but let's have a look. No, thanks though. We try and break things. I love how this conference is opening Player, with that, that trailer for all the Star Wars no. games from three years ago. Yeah, it is. It is the trailer for the Star Wars games from three years. I don't know. They had something similar to this last time. They're like, look at our studio where we like each other and we like you. Yeah, nothing. We're just gonna have to hang out with that all stuff. Right, in the hey guys, there. did you see Skyrim again? No, where was it? I missed it. You oh, made Sky it right Skyrim is screen. my favorite game. Skyrim was on Switch, you guys. It was. Do you, do you remember when we ported Skyrim to Switch? We I don't. So Joey, what are you expecting to see from this? <sighs> I hope we get Doom Two. That's all I care about. Yeah, that'd be cool to see. That guy had a Nerf gun, yeah. so that's Doom Two basically confirmed right there. Like I said before. Doom 2016, Doom 2, 2019, all in the box. Well, that guy had a Doom shirt on. You missed it. So there was also a Doom statue. It that's 100% confirmed. Mm -hmm. You can start the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, thanks for giving us permission. I mean, I know they're going to be talking a bunch about Rage 2. Yeah, Rage 2 and and Fallout 60, 76 are the main yeah. ones here, obviously. But we will see. Hey, Elder Scrolls Online. I mean, you remember be, that game? It'd be neat Nathan if we Drake. the new Elder Scrolls, but uh, I, it don't, won't I don't expect us to. I guess <laughs> they even specifically, not only did they show Skyrim for Switch, they showed specific, I guess it's the only way the we link, know it's yeah. the version for Switch, yeah, is to show exactly. him and his Link, so. Wolfenstein was pretty fun. Huh? Wolfenstein 2 was pretty Yeah, fun. okay, that That's already confirmed we're not getting any it's new actually, Elder Scrolls. I'm going to sound like a scrub, I'm sure, but it was a pretty difficult game, like, for what it is. What it Like, was. I played it on normal, Wolfenstein 2, like, I played yeah. it on normal difficulty, and I... I heard, it, I heard it had some balance issues in certain fights. This is a great sizzle reel, because there are only this five This is a games. weird... Th this, this is a theater! Oh, <laughs> what is this? Please welcome the Ew. best that's a very strange you can't layout. Face everyone. I made a joke yeah. about Nolan North a second ago. No, no, I made a joke about Nathan Drake a second ago because they were showing it was because the protagonist of um, uh, uh, Evil Within looks like him. But Evil Within Two, from all ooh, dude, they're about to stand up to this just, one too. That was, no, that's, that's that's the wrong sport. I'm be, I'm making a joke. It's a good job, Capital. Well, there are I guess a team that never had a team before. There are guitars on stage. I love you too. Are they gonna do that Doom? They're live gonna concert do a again? Doom concert. <laughs> Paula said, my name is Pete Hines, and I'm delighted to be back on This is a very interesting Welcome layout. Back, Pete. I've missed you, Papa. We've got all kinds of surprises <laughs> in store for you tonight. So I know, was, my comment was just going to be that the Evil Within 2 is actually, sword apparently, sword very good and a substantial improvement over the first game, so my little, my, my character design dig should not be taken as a, as me slandering the name of Evil Within 2. Now, if anything, you're slandering the name of Nathan Drake. For the second one, they should have just taken a Japanese name. And it's a theme embraced by our 10 studios spread around the globe, the incredibly talented folks who make the Bethesda games that you'll soon be playing. But as you saw that's in the intro video, it's not studios. just developers. Everyone at Bethesda... There's one in Antarctica. It's not Oh, there are three in Austin, Texas. <laughs> the rest are underground, <laughs> run by slaves. <laughs> Run by crab people. Run by the ghouls. Walk like crab, talk like people. Drives us every day to strive for excellence. The past year has been an exciting one for Bethesda as we released some of the best games of 2017. That didn't look like water up there. That looked like alcohol. Who knows? The Evil Within Two. It could be alcohol. Wolfenstein Two. Maybe it's just like nice spring water, you know? Like it's, 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 it's fizzy water. Fallout 2. Oh my gosh. These people like Elder Scrolls Online. Did you, did you see when they cheered for Elder Scrolls Online? He was like actually upset that he had to stop what he was talking about. Like he wasn't expecting a clap. There was like, huh, okay. 
Let me move on, please. So we were thrilled when Metacritic named us the top publisher in the industry with the highest overall review scores. I'm pretty sure that'd be Nintendo. I'm not trying to. No, the the highest total grade across but all of their games. Oh. If I released one oh. game with a 100 then score uh, from every Metacritic, I'd be. And that's not that's not exactly a statistic to sneeze at, but it's uh, still yeah. So, means they, it means across the av the across their whole library, they have very high average. Who are friends at Walmart Canada. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. This is exactly what I was talking about yesterday. That's what that's what this event is really about. It's about convincing the guys at Walmart to put Red Dead in front of their store. No, it is, but that's what it used to be. It's not. That it still anymore. is. It is, but I'm saying so like they don't treat it that way anymore. Not on stage. They Whatever. Anyway. Like, I agree that's what it's for, but you don't do that to you, the you consumers. Mean, what he was doing specifically was making a joke about Walmart leaking it. Oh, that's what he said. Oh, yeah. He was making a joke about Walmart leaking Avengers. everything. Avengers. Oh, dude, the Avengers project is getting unveiled at Bethesda because Square was taking so long that they took it over. Oh, no. Um, is this the shoehorn celebrity? Do you don't know who this is? No. My name's Andrew WK, and we came to party! Oh, gosh. Are you ready to rage? I will admit, I thought oh. what, you're sa what you're saying is I can go and take a water break. And go I will, I will right admit, now. I thought it was somebody else when he walked out, so I'm not, I'm not actually upset even not knowing who that was. I thought that it was somebody else. You're not the lead singer of Disturbed. Now I'm disappointed. That's pretty funny. That is, that's great. No, that's I just I bring up the wall. This I was talking with Joshua about this during the EA presentation yesterday. Just just because fans think of E3 in a really weird way because like this is this is still at the end of the day an industry trade show. It just happens to be the only one that has major public visibility. Yeah, where because like all these all these other shows have presentations like this anyway, where there's people get up on stage and do nonsense like this. It still happens. But it's just not live streamed, and and <laughs> and people don't care about it because it's yeah. it's internal. But it's also oh my like gosh. the mentality definitely shifted as soon as they. <laughs> there like, was one guy. The public there was one guy my, in the crowd that just had his mouth slightly open, like blinking. Like <laughs> <laughs> my my um uh, my point is simply that while yes, E3 has transformed into something else, it still facilitates all those purposes. And at the end of the day, like developers are not going to change their entire game plan. Like you know, oh, I was so upset this year that you know whoever didn't announce more stuff. It's like, no, it's not. It's not how this works, no. guys. We have nothing else to talk about at the moment, so we're doing this. Like, what? Why? Well, I mean, we have why? to. We gotta keep talking. I love how like a copyright infringement. Yeah, you're, you're, you make a good point. Forty percent of the people in the audience are are like into it, and then the other sixty percent are just completely. That guy's barefoot, dead. Oh, like, dude, at, I tried to infiltrate a barefoot advocation group yesterday, and I got rejected. What does that even mean? Uh, it's a group of people that are like just super into having like being barefoot in Walmart and like McDonald's and stuff. And driving barefoot. Yeah, I'm, I'm also super into getting terrible diseases. No, see, you've been raised to think that. But they don't sell glass at McDonald's. You're not going to step on glass. It's a stupid... Look at the... Why did they get to that guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I tried to... Oh, gosh. I don't remember the name of it. But I tried to join it but on Facebook to infiltrate just to see what it was like. But I got rejected. At, and the last thing they sing is just going to be everyone screaming Battle Royale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just this big drum roll and then screaming Skyrim. Battle Royale! Skyrim 2 Is Battle he taking Royale. his junk out? Yes. Uh, yeah. You saw what he was doing. It looked like he was unbuttoning it. He at least grabbed it. Oh my it. god, I literally... I he was like a group. baseball player grabbing his crotch before have, he goes up to the plate. I have a group of friends watching this right now, and I, <laughs> one that I told about the barefoot thing, they just text me, they're like, dude, he's barefoot, I wonder if he's in the group. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah! no, no, no. This, this cannot stand. <laughs> this cannot stand. This cannot continue. That was a true sin. I'm sure that dude is famous, but I don't know who he Let's is. Let's give it up again for Andrew WK, the perfect song for Rage 2. Hey. Huh? Andrew right. WK. Hi, everyone. My name is Tim Willis, and I am this... He's on Spotify. Software. And I'm Magnus Nedvars, game director at Avalanche Studios. 
He was born in Stanford, and yet his origin was Ann Arbor. What does that even mean? I think that's where his career began. <laughs> oh. That's where his career began. Okay, like Darren Kreese. You know? like the Beatles' the origin before. would probably be Liverpool. I get it. No, I thought that was Abbey Road. That was the only place they ever played, right? They don't play at Abbey Road, you uh, idiot. Uh, Uncultured so swan. Yeah, you... see, origin. It's the beginning of the act. Okay, yeah. So how much do y'all care about this game? Because uh, I can tell you how much... I, I can probably show in one hand how much I'm excited for this game. Like, on a scale of 1 to 100? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm on in the same boat. I think I'm at, like, a 4. Because most of all, I didn't, I hadn't heard of it before today. Had you heard of, you never heard, well, you hadn't heard of Rage 2 before today? No. Oh, so you just weren't paying attention, I guess. Have you heard of Rage 1? No. Okay. So I kind of, I hate Ma Mad Mad Maxi first <laughs> person kidding. shooter. Okay. It was, uh, at the time, I believe the first one was still id Software, right? But it was before, it was before I, uh, Bethesda uh, picked all the stuff up, right? I really don't know. Uh, what is this I conference? Just, I'm going to double check. This is even yeah, worse. I didn't play the first Look one. Look at this. So I'm not going to, you know. Everyone shut up. Speaking for everyone at that Yeah, it was id. Okay. This is really a real dream to come true for us. The world of I'm sure the game's fine. It's perfect for our style of gameplay. But even more exciting than that has been to work with these guys that did software. These guys in the Okay, I can't tell if the dude on the right is just massively tall. Or oh, he's know. massively tall. I know, so for reference, anybody who's wondering, I know that id still technically exists. I was just trying oh, to wait, remember. No, he's not. Look at the microphone. I know okay. that id still exists, and they just work for Bethesda. I was just trying to remember if they if it was published so before really they were with Bethesda, and no, Bethesda did publish the last one. The most insane open world shooter you have ever. Yeah, it's an open world Mad Maxi first person so shooter, uh, and this one they're going for a, looks like a much even wackier tone. Like the key, the main color is pink. They're they're going wacky, they're going wild. Ranger of the Wasteland. I, I just, now, I don't know. Wow me, Bethesda. I just am not interested. About our guns, Literally, now that they've already announced the next Fallout combat, game, the only thing at this event that will surprise crazy, or draw any reaction out of me is Doom 2 2016, the but the sequel is no, so Doom 16 to Doom 2016 to 2018. Okay, is the yeah. correct title. 2019. Probably. 2019. And yes. No, if it, or what, or the next Elder Scrolls. No, what if it That's is? That's really all I care about. No, think about this scenario. At the world, Doom 2016 to 2018 that gets delayed, so it's it it's right that 2018 and then it proceeds 2019. 2019. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that having having multiple years stuck into it. That would be nice. Asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Global extinction event. Oh. 80% of the Earth's population dead. 80%. But only 40% unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't a war. It wasn't global warming. It was a fucking asteroid. I was born in this shithole. Parents murdered. And this, this, this is the tone of, of the Bethesda conferences. I don't care. You know I, it's not going to be censored. This, dude, this is this like is this is EA at night. I guess it's earlier on in. in LA, I just like professionalism. Also. Okay. It's this is really video too games. Much to ask. It's this serious business, man. You don't you need. You say that, but during the first conference when they went unchained, like people went nuts for it. Everybody was yeah. like, "Yeah, it's our video game studio." Did nothing. I'm sure, like, you see, here's the thing, I don't, I, I'm watching this, and if, it, and if it impresses me, then it impresses me, that's fine, but it's like, I just, I've got too many other things on my list, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that I have already, all my energy and caring about, and a lot of them are already out. I have so many games right now that I'm, just, like, still playing or need to go back to finish playing. Like, I'm pre-alpha captured in engine. Let's watch. Man, this is so great. Where Walker... I wonder. This is real good. Look at this gameplay. I wonder if I'll be more interested in this. So many vistas. It's said spaceport. I guess I'm underestimated. I guess this game has more sci fi going on than I gave it credit So many so vistas. Like, my bad. I remember Rage got decent reviews, but it was not like great, and it was mostly forgettable, so. I'm interested to see. Is it really? Yeah, was I'm... Rage the game where you caught like points for doing like combos? No, no, no. That was a yeah, bullet storm. Bullet storm. Hey, I have a question. Kill is with it... skill, Joey. Kill with skill. Uh, is is it impossible to believe that 
with modern like laser guided technology that if an asteroid actually entered Earth's atmosphere that was large enough to like be cause detected, a global extinction event, we would be able to we, shoot it down. Possibly, we could. I imagine we could at the very least break it up significantly. Yeah, I'm not uh, trying to like. I'm not trying to get away from this game's premise. I'm just saying like like real talk. You okay, know, real well, talk about asteroids well, how and about murdering this? Okay, the entire like planet. This, all right. What if it's a bigger asteroid that was going to completely demolish the planet, and then they we broke it, it down to ooh, that's a, yeah. What if it was like literally like a like a moon yeah. was careening out of well, out of look, course. It's, it's Dude, I saw like I busting. saw on an, an episode of Ancient Aliens that apparently the moon is a spaceship. Dude, Ancient yeah. Aliens is the truth, and I love it. <laughs> apparently, like the reason that we can't go deep into the moon right now, and NASA is trying to hide it from us, is because is there's the only a couple a layers spaceship. of soil before we get to the metal it's a spaceship. Yeah, and apparently it's just the Death Star. And the aliens left it there in case we ever needed it. That person was in already case dead. we Why needed it. The, the I don't know, man. Ring. That that man with the with the crazy hair. I can only listen to him for about five minutes before my brain internally combusts. Why? What is this? He's shooting people, Joey, yeah, with a gun. He, why is he pink? Because he's using like he's using like he's using the power of the game's primary color. Scheme. He's using he's using bull shark testosterone from um, uh, from uh, from Grand Theft Auto Five. He think a boosted up, and only a few people are gonna get that reference. It mounts on the wall. It's motion sensor activated. Is the rocket the crusher talking at and it can be yours wild and black. Rage. Okay. Good advertisement, Bethesda. That fell really flat. Yeah, it did. Oof. Oh, great. Announcing Once Rage 2 oh, Collector's this. Edition. Get out of here. I, I know these how... Pop -ups. I'm going to use video games to stop the video game. Maybe app. we should be watching. I thought this one would have fewer viewers than the main Twitch stream, and so it would be stabler. But oh, why is it not going I think, I think you're just going to have to live with it, Joshua. Are you well, kidding me? Yeah, we're just going to live with it. Maybe... I press the X. Alternatively, we could always we could always just go and find another stream, and because I don't think we'll miss anything in the meantime. No. Nah. But I think I think we'll just live with it. Yeah. Oh my god. Ever, this is the real, but this is the experience. Or hey, you know. I you, hate Bethesda. You know what you could do in post. Why do you, you hate Bethesda? You I don't hate find, Bethesda. I I, I could go find conference. the other footage and play yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Crap, I, but I don't. I don't hate, care that much. I don't I hate don't Bethesda. Do I hate I don't their think conferences the people, though. Oh, good job, my dude. Uh oh. There we go. It's fine. <laughs> it's not like we missed anything. Nothing was missed. People died. Hey, is this Vault 76? I still haven't finished Persona 5. I don't have time to care about another first-person shooter. That isn't a bash against first-person shooters. I'm just making like a general point. Are you about, saying like, that Persona 5 is a first-person shooter? No, I'm saying I don't have any time to care about a game that has nothing has yet to show me why it's special. Oh, okay. I mean, it's hard to tell you why it's special when it's not special. The only thing that looks that unique about that, this that game is the art style, visually. but this is not a good art style right here. This is just normal FPS. Their good art style went away after the first three minutes. I don't want to be that guy, but you could overlap this with Destiny, and I don't think people would to be able to. Talk so the one thing we were talking, we were talking about, you know, like oh, like this part look, right here. we were talking about like oh, look, Anthem. It's just like Destiny again or whatever, right? And then I was thinking, but you know what? Honestly, hey, guess what? Destiny with a story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a substantial improvement, even if it's a crappy story. But we don't know how good the story is gonna be. Because it has a story. Yeah, it has, I mean, Destiny 2 had a story, but it's like, I didn't, okay, I, uh, this I is, could tell you. Don't, t don't take everything I'm saying, like, take it with a grain of salt, because I don't know the full story, but I was reading something about, like, one of the guys, like, they had the writer for, like, Mass Effect 1 and 2 come back for Anthem and then left midway, like he did with Mass Effect 3. No, and then he came awesome. back. They came back. Came back the again. Guy? No, wasn't he the guy who came back? No, 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 no. 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 But it's like he came. He was doing anthem and then left again. <laughs> so, I mean, and that's what happened with Mass Effect 3 story that everybody despises so much. He's so. dressed like um uh, with a um, football uh, player. No, I was gonna say he's just like mutant league football specifically. That didn't come to my. It didn't come. The words didn't come to my mouth quickly enough. Was he? Was right. that? Yeah, I think he was just blocking bullets with a katana. That enemy he was shooting at. He was riding. What, what a dude. General Why didn't I see that in gameplay? Colonel Rykov. Because this, that wasn't real footage. What I'm we were watching was real footage. There, there, there it worked. Now that time. I can get rid of it. You had to I wait long it. enough. You yeah. had to wait long enough. It was a time dad. It just didn't tell me. Oh boy, let me tell you, enemies that have shields like that are the worst in FPSs. Why are you doing this? Because it forces you to mix Halo. up your playstyle and use grenades. Because Halo. What if your grenades don't work? What if your boomerang bat knife thing doesn't work? So now they only have two games left. Yeah, was that the was that the ending of the Rage showcase? Okay, uh, this is the I'll be game, back. Yeah. I'm gonna go get water. 
Go for it. Yeah. I don't think I'm missing anything. <laughs> Let me know when the Hearthstone ripoff is done. <laughs> I cannot believe, cannot believe that we're the EA to Microsoft to this so far. New modes, new ways to play, and much more. We wanted to push ourselves Man, this dude is so enthusiastic. So I'm still very fascinated by this this entire like this setup. Yeah. You're right, his enthusiasm <laughs> yeah. levels are not quite right, but this set, this setup is very interesting to me. There's already a stage that was set up like this, and they were like, "Yes, this is the one that we pick for this year," or it was one that they got dealt. Somebody walked in front of the camera right there. I saw. <laughs> yeah, a mobile card game is also going to be on the consoles. I hope it'll run well. No reason to wait it's a card game. game. That's, my, um, that's the joke. <laughs> Will it run at 60 uh, FPS on yeah. PS4 Pro and Xbox One X? Oh man! I need my card if flipping you get on action. PS Pro, you can upscale it. Yeah. Is that, is that a thing? Yeah. Do you not oh. know about Bethesda Net? No, I didn't. I bet that has to do with like the Creation Club Let's and all those shenanigans. That was a really bold prediction I was seeing, uh, was like, Bethesda announces that they are pulling out of Steam and opening their own online storefront. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Oh, man. Once you pop, you never stop. Gwent? Just go play Shadowverse, everybody. It's free and it's fun. Why is he rotating the stick over and over again? Is oh, that necessary for for card games? Yeah, dude. You gotta you gotta crank the card. Whoa! Special effects. This is for anywhere you play. This is for strategy. Oh, can we get rid of it? Will it work? Why? Why is why why am I this way? Is that Alduin? Oh, sorry. It's fine. Legends are born. Oh, it's on the Switch! Did they announce, did they announce it's, Elder Scrolls 7 yet? It's on the Switch, No, dude. they just showed a commercial oh for Elder Scrolls Legends, a strategy card game. On on the Switch? Oh, it was on remember, the Switch. Remember that okay, time the when the Switch. Dota logo showed up on screen and everybody went, Yeah! And then it said card game and I went, Ah! <laughs> hey, look. Look. It's Elder Scrolls Online. You know what? I don't like Thanks, it. Everyone. I don't know anybody that does Matt like it. We, we like to dump on it, but it's got a really big fan base, so I guess it's, it does some things right. Probably. You want to talk about Final Fantasy XIV instead or something? Oh man, Final Fantasy XIV was pretty fun, but I don't play it anymore. You don't play it anymore? No, it's just... I don't know. I don't like raiding. That's that's fine. That's so like you're, so you're just like next expansion pack you'll go back or are you just done with the period. I don't know. I never okay. I didn't finish the last one, but it's like I just don't so like rating. That, that's just me. There's nothing wrong with it rating, but I learned like I can't. I don't like rating in any game I play. Like, not an act, not an activity that you enjoy. I did the raid in Destiny too, and I just so, was it was unpleasant. It was a good raid. I just didn't. Night, I don't like home, having to rely on people and then rely on me in a video game like that. You prefer to have people rely on you in real life, where disappointments are much more much more crushing. No, it's just, I just don't like it. I don't know. That Mickey Mouse was angry about the current situation. Yeah. It's just some Mickey eyes and ears. I don't know, they didn't look like Mickey eyes, but they were definitely Mickey ears, so I'm confused by that a little bit. We're right there alongside, I'm playing there with you, I'm running dungeons, I'm exploring Tamriel, questing, crafting, decorating my Oh, so that explains why you guys can't finish any games. Stabbing. Darn. Yeah, that was me. Damn. You I'm the, just destroyed. No, they're this not even. Man. I'm just joking. Like I don't. I don't even. Like I don't think they have real, any real production. He's getting high on his own supply. <laughs> <laughs> I think that like I don't think they have any real production problems. I just found that really funny. He's like, don't. He's the way he said like, don't worry. We are in there playing it with you. It's like, is that supposed to fill me with confidence? <laughs> Yeah, you know that guy wearing the armor that's not in the game so yet, the weapon that's really not in the game yet. That was me. But it it's, won't it's, happen. It's not because there's no. There's no. Oh my gosh! No, it's oh okay. never mind. I don't care. Cause it's there's no pads anywhere, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, no. Instead, uh, they announced a battle royale with all of you in the audience. The last one alive gets Skyrim six. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the, we know that everybody here at E3 is bringing a big battle royale announcement, but we at Bethesda think we have the biggest and best battle royale. Look under your royale. chairs. There you will, you will find, find a, a random. Pistol. You will find a random weapon. <laughs> the last person standing inside this stadium, inside I mean inside this theater, will win an early copy of the Elder Scrolls VI. So chop chop. And then no, he, it's just, you no, get, and then he locks himself in a bulletproof cage. No, He's like one of the ending of Rogue Nation. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. So you just get the Fallout 4 collector's edition with the Pip Boy. <laughs> yeah. And 
Now my phone's in there. <laughs> oh, look, it's the beginning of an Elder Scrolls game. I get it, because you're a prisoner. That's how it is in the other, in this one. You're like in. That's the point, yeah. Like, all of them open with you being a prisoner. Yeah. Except the ones that don't open with that. Whatever. Those don't count. Okay. Those aren't, those aren't mainline those games. Those aren't real games. Yes. It's High Evil Elf, elf Man. Me. He's an elf. And he's stabbed. Conan O'Brien would he hate him. He lost and reclaimed. Well, okay, because the story's over yeah. then. Yeah, that was, a, that was What a rip-roaring adventure. What a drama. Which one are you? Holy crap, that looks like the God first of boss War? fight of, of KH2, you know, with the stupid Twilight Thorn. That didn't look anything like that. Yes, it did. Well, he was grabbing guess, okay, him the, and then the, he did pose, reaction. Not the character. That gum Okay, let's see if this will work. It, it might be after wait. It left while, no. it worked while you were gone. Apparently Joey has the magic touch. It's just you, Joshua. No, I did it the first time. It's just time. you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? You saved more. Oh, okay. These are these are the events of the previous storylines. Oh. You've already. Oh no! Look, there was Final Fantasy fourteen. You rescued the Clockwork God. Who? That's actually it's like their God of Time or something. Oh, are those the dwarves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah dwarf, dwarves. They got a thing. Be and now become a furry in the Elder Scrolls Online. You could already do that. I know. We're, we're pushing. <laughs> do we're pushing, it again. We're pushing new furry tech. Was that Hogwarts? That was a griffin or a whatever those things are. That was that yeah. was Buckbeak flying towards Hogwarts. Yeah, that'd be a hippogriff. Hippogriff, thank you. Frickin it's been a hypocrite. Oh! 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 <laughs> Dude, Look at all these that's what I want to ride, not a horse. A scorpion riding a frog across a river. Dude, horses horses aren't cool enough anymore. Create your own story. It's the same one for everyone. Steal all the best loot from your friends and don't tell them. This is really not going well for these guys. I mean, I'm, this is for somebody. Sure. I but thought I mean, Somerset wasn't supposed to look like that. I know very little about Elder Scrolls, but I thought it was like a jungle like, island. But that trailer it's was... Totally, that's, that's that some pitiful applause. 60% of that trailer was previous expansions. So yeah. even if you do care... I'm just like, I, I thought that Somerset that was, was like jungle. That's the inside of the Death Star in Episode 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That the, was exactly yeah. what that was. The only thing I know about Somerset is from the, the Skyrim like text boxes, and it's like it's an ancient, mysterious land called the Emerald Isle. So I was like, it's either Ireland or it's like a jungle. This might actually be. And they say it was a Doom? jungle. This is Doom, isn't it? Don't get uh, your hopes up. This doesn't look like Doom. Uh, well, okay, no, this looks yeah. This, it's is Doom. Doom. It's Doom. this is Doom. Hey, what do you know? I'm happy now. Because there was no nobody came out on stage and talked beforehand. They just went straight into it. I'm like, so this is actually gonna be okay, like the so Lord. this is in Okay, this is the real world. They so had something. This is the real world, and hell, hell runneth over. So yeah, so Doom God didn't do as good of a job as he had hoped. Well, he got beat by a robot with a he sword. He did get beat by the robot. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, there was a big cliffhanger. Clearly, it wasn't a big enough cliffhanger because you forgot about it. Yeah. Well, it's been a it's been a hot minute. Well, no, that game is weird because it's like, oh, we don't care about the story, whatever, and then it's like at the end, suddenly start caring about the story. We've been actively telling you not to care about the entire game's runtime. Yeah, run exactly. Because the very beginning of the game, the dude trying to give you the story, like Doom guy just punches the monitor and walks away. What are you calling it? What is it called? It's Center Punch, so it can't be Doom Two. Doom Two Batman. Doom Eternal. Eternal. That's that's not a very good title, honestly. It's not. Not great. But hey, you know what? It's a game. Yeah, um, Doom was It's better than we can I say for anything else earlier Your in the Your copy conference. of Doom is still on my shelf over there. I was, wouldn't have played it. Any. On our legacy, as the original eSports... This is dead on arrival. Everything from intense grassroots competition... Did you hear that? It's the, the original eSport, Quake. It's true. I thought... For a second, I thought he was saying this is going to be an eSport, and then I realized he said original eSport. I'm pretty sure the original eSport was Counter-Strike. Quake was before Counter Strike. Oh, it was really? Yes, DJ absolutely. In this, isn't he? Yes, all of the all the great Bethesda heroes are in this. What, a, what about Fallout guy? What about Vault Boy? What about um, Skyrim guy? He might be in it. I don't know. What about Link from Skyrim? We can't stop. Won't stop. Whether you're a Quake dad or a brand new baby to the arena. Huh. <laughs> Haha. Uh -huh. That's why we just added a bunch uh, of funny joke. Even easier for you <laughs> and your friends to jump in and get good I just, together. The, the people in the crowd are yawning. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're still in early access. I wonder why he's kind of looking away from most of his audience. <laughs> 
You know what this feels like? What? It feels like watching a political rally. Only. Where there's like there's like those 30 people who are standing behind the candidate <laughs> and smiling awkwardly and, tr and trying not to look bored while while the person we'll they're there to dude. see is addressing everyone Pokemon else. Pokemon go to the polls! Stop. Plus, Sorry. Leave that alone. Pokemon, let's go Eevee. Better. Dude, he was better. Dude, dude on 4chan that called that on April 1st. Yeah. Like, he leaked the game and everybody thought it was a joke. That was, was great. was a 100% accurate leak. People are gonna discover in an episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 is gonna come out in like a half a month us talking about those leaks and not knowing if it's real or not. <laughs> Don't miss your chance to join one of the most passionate and welcoming communities in gaming. Now, PC gamers, yeah, it's super welcome. Oh yeah, yeah. After our showcases, I've over. never bought hardcore, a console in my hardcore, life. They suck. Hardcore 90s PC shooter fanboys, the most welcoming. As you can tell by how much they love this game. I haven't seen like anything in this game in like a year. Well, that's because it hasn't been shown since last E3. Okay, time to play for free this week. Because they already know it's going to be free to play. <laughs> They're just getting everybody prepped for it. The bigger the guns, the bigger the boom. The bigger the guns, the bigger the boom. Yeah, look, did you see I how fast that guy was when he was walking around? He's j it's just like Quake. Look at how fast. Did you see how fast he was? You seeing this? Man, I can't it's, even. It's like Uncharted multiplayer where you're just jumping. It's like the I can't time. even pretend to. Like I can't even pretend to be excited about this. Tracer looks fast, joke. at least. Yeah. You have the fast. How dare you, you say she's a clone? It's just too bad that she is the fast character as opposed to the normal character. It is in uh, Quake. Well, get game. it. I see your stuff, even though he has no eyeballs. <laughs> Dude, who's your favorite character? Why didn't they just make it, it's like how the EA right lady now was like, now. Why didn't oh, they just no, make it? Oh no, there was a blue haired chick. That's sexy. <laughs> Why didn't they just make a quick game? Because that's too hard. I remember this is another this was another major, you know, instant hype and instant de hype when this was announced. Whoa. All the reactions. Whoa! It's a hero shooter. Even if you like hero shooters, it's not what people want. No. Oh look, it's a vault. Oh, it's not the same. Now it's a right now it's prey, never mind. Yeah. I was gonna say then it was becoming something else, but then it became prey. Prey speedruns are very fun to watch. Oh, it's not prey too. Austin, not yet. Texas. Wait. It's been one year since we launched Prey, and we wanna send a big thanks to our incredible fan base for your support. Fantastic. We've been so Everybody loves your one word. And enthusiasm. And well, no, it's the people go in and they pull one review out and they I'm put saying. it in a nice, bold spot. That's what I'm saying. They just pull a nice, out. bold, back-of-the-box feature. Pray, you're going to see three new modes. Story mode, new game plus, which was a big fan request, and survival mode, which should be an interesting challenge for our For Battle Royale fans. lovers. But that's just the beginning. We are really excited to tell everyone that we've also been working on a new Prey DLC. An infinitely replayable experience called it's Moon Crash. It's a new oh, twist on Prey oh. where the enemies, hazards, and loot are all different each time you play. Oh. We're so excited. Okay, good. It wasn't. It wasn't literally that billions of possible games. <laughs> it was like billions of lives. I was really, really hoping they were gonna say Battle Royale on the moon. That was what would have saved Radical Heights. If it was literally the heights were so radical that you were battle royaling on the moon. Nothing could have saved Radical Heights. What are you talking about? You mean Radical Highway? That's my favorite Sanic level. Is it? Radical no. Highway should not be your favorite so. Sanic level. Metal Harbor is my favorite Sanic level. It's, it's your favorite be... Sanic music. It's not your favorite dude, level. It's, it's, it's a pretty good level. so good. I was thinking about that the other day. That's that specific song. I, like, do, 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 I have do, that downloaded do, do, on my do. phone. Ba -da, ba -ba -ba -ba. And good news, fellas. Uh, what do you call it? That, that not hype Sonic Race. Game, the music. I think, I think they said the, the music design was going to be by Jen Sanoe again. Oh, really? Nice. Who did the music for Sonic Forces? Because I heard it was garbage. Sonic Forces music was not garbage. It's Fist Bump oh, okay. was okay. Right. Sonic, Fist Bump was a good song. And I like the instrumental with, version of Fist Bump. Uh, the, like, some of the songs fell flat, but it's like, the songs were probably the best part of the okay. game. I haven't listened to any of it. I just, I just didn't hear positive things about its soundtrack, so. Man, every run is unique. Seriously, I'm getting flashbacks to old. Tell Lucas, you what, tell you what. So those Lucas games. when he was stabbing that thing into his eye right there, I haven't watched much of Prey, so I didn't know that was a feature in the game. I guess it's something you do, Maybe. like a plasmid or whatever. I don't know, like stabbing uh. something in your body, get an upgrade. 
all I can mm. think about now, when he when he went for that, the problem is that that is now any visual of that in a video game from a first person perspective is going to be infinitely Prop disturbing part. to me. Not because no, you, there's, oh, there's that's in that's in prey. There are mimics that disguise themselves as literally any assets on the map, and those are saying you can do it yourself to hide from things. Uh. No, what I was gonna say is that that actual animation of him doing that in his eye probably wasn't that gross and wouldn't bother me that much because I can deal with a lot of that stuff. Yeah. But in a first-person video game perspective, all I can think about is the lobotomy sequence from uh from under buried at, buried at sea from Bioshock Infinite. Oh, dude, I haven't. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, you haven't? No. It is horrible. It uh, is terrifying. I, I do believe it because the lobotomy. No. Was it like an ice pickle lobotomy or? Believe it. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it. All right, fair <laughs> enough. It was. It was. In, it went on for extremely long and was incredibly disturbing. It's not an FPS, but I, I think back to and uh, I think back to uh, da, 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 Dead Space. Wait, too. let's listen to these people's terrible this, this jokes. This sequence where it's like you have to get a thing poked in your eye. Look, like she's not a mimic. Yeah, that one guy gets stabbed really hard in the eye and his face explodes in that gif. Yeah, that's if you yeah, fail. You know, it's the funny thing. The people on this side don't know what the joke is. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they can see it on the mag. They can see it on the Jumbotron. Oh, my bad. Well, not they, that guy. He's looking at his phone. If you're just watching the Jumbotron, what's the point of even being here? Well, what's, that's what, how people go to sports games. You get the atmosphere, dude. Uh, you're right. The at, it's for the, you go for the atmosphere. Did you know I've only been to one professional sports game ever, Professional or college. It, so left. Professional or college. Just like yeah, so that's not professional. Come on, Joey. More professional. Well, no. Where's it? Actually, I don't remember. You know, things like Whatever. Yeah, I just blew his mind. Anyway, it was a long no, time so, ago, and I left halfway through because it was too hot. Well, this is cool. This is this is cool that it's getting a lot of new stuff in an expansion. That's a big deal for people who like that game. I just never had the time for it. It looked really neat. But no, so the mimic like there are enemies in that game that are mimics, Josh, and <laughs> like I like I said, yes. in 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 a GMod ah! style. They can literally become any asset in the world map and just jump out and grab you. This is terrible. Wild. We're not listening to any. Her not a mimic sticky note fell off, and they're I like, saw. "Oh no!" At Arcane Studios, to all of our fans around the world who have played Prey and Love. Why didn't they just staple it on? Yeah, dude. It's one of my favorite clips ever. Is is from behind the scenes of Indiana Jones and the and the Last Crusade. They're doing the whole tank chase sequence in the desert where Andy's riding on a horse and and Harrison Ford's hat keeps flying off right so there's just a clip of it's like between shots right he's just off to the side at like you know the craft services table or whatever and he grabs a stapler and goes inside <laughs> he's like there that'll do it and he walks away <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hello friends oh it's this dude so did you hear that? But Bl Blaskowicz has twin daughters. And this is. And Young Blood is an expansion where you play as one or both of them. Okay. It's gonna be it's it's, it's like Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons or whatever. <laughs> except with, except, except with of lots guns. of guns and Nazis. No, it's like a way out. It's a way except out. Except with Nazis. lots of guns and Nazis. <laughs> This game is it's gonna it be amazing. Everything. It has shooting. It has Nazis. Nazis. <laughs> it's going to have everything. I still cannot believe that. <laughs> I mean, we went back and looked at that Battlefield 5 campaign trailer from the Xbox panel, and I was like, let's see, it's 27 shots, and it's about 40 seconds long. <laughs> I should, I'm sure I'm glad that they pushed that preview back. I'm also still so stunned that it wasn't in English, and that makes me more interested than I think any other, like... I know that's a really weird thing to be hung up on, but the fact that it was like, no, they're just all gonna speak the proper... <laughs> no! There he is! No longer a coward. Back to being God Howard. Yes. Sure. <laughs> he there has he revealed himself. <laughs> Everybody's just so here. happy to see him. We're all here. Looking good. Oh, it's great to be back at E3. Thank you, thank you so much. Who does he much. remind me of? Something, by the way, that he said that is reminding me of. Toby McGuire. Too. No, that's not right. <laughs> that's kind of the vibe I get tonight. from Todd Howard. He's a cross between Tony McGuire and Michael J. Fox to me. Anyway. Who's the guy in Miller's Crossing and uh, and the Usual Suspects? I don't know, man. He looks like a version of that guy with lighter hair. Robert Redford. Coursing. Miller's Coursing. I mistyped, and it doesn't matter because I still got where I wanted to be, Joshua. So you can just shut up. Definitely, definitely one of them. I got to go to the very first E3. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Right here in Los Angeles. I know. They're so cute when they're little. <laughs> energy and life. And then, uh, remember when little E3 ran away from home, went to Atlanta? Yes. You, a lot of you didn't come. I liked Atlanta. 
or East Coast. Yeah. The and one year that it was in Atlanta. The, oh, that was that was a thing. Yeah. Cool. Yes. One, yeah. Dude, we we might have actually been able about. to go. They know we live in the South. I might what are you talking about? We could get on. We could get on a plane and go to E3 if we wanted Dude, to. Dude, that's no, like remember, that's probably like fifteen bucks. <laughs> I gotta save up for Kingdom Hearts like, Three. Okay. This is how a zombie movie starts. <laughs> and now E3 has grown up. It's in its twenties. It's more confident, can handle its alcohol better, like all of you. Thank you. Buy our Fallout shot mugs. <laughs> and, that, and that's why. There's a good, there's a good party after shot. this, so pace yourselves. And I hope you're comfortable, by the way. I'm going to be here for a while. Uh-oh. <laughs> and E3 has become his such laugh, an like his face week of pain. Yeah. right there. But we know that most of you came here for one thing. Fallout. Todd Howard! <laughs> <laughs> Todd Howard! <laughs> that guy just broke E3. Nah, that's not true. I think it's to see where we're putting Skyrim next. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is it's becoming self-aware! Self <laughs> well, I think we have the best one yet. What's that even? Scrolls speak of the past and the future. Now, Skyrim looks to the future, to its ultimate version. Are they announcing Skyrim 2? Are they, are they taking the piss? They're taking the piss super hard! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> They're taking the piss super hard. Also, play Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> and see a tall snowy mountain. Climb it. Now, Skyrim and life become one. A mud crab scuttles towards Fus you. Rodar. I didn't catch that. Fus Rodar. I didn't quite catch Fus that. Fus Rodar. Your shout echoes all the way to Sovngarde. What happened? Fus Rodar. That's the command for knocking things over. Is there a command for picking shit up? I haven't reached that level yet. I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> fire breath on you. Okay. You have seven percent health left. Oh shit! Uh, I, I drink a health po potion. You are out of health potions. I eat a cheese oh, wheel. Uh, oh, uh, how many uh, wheels of cheese do I have left? <laughs> yeah. Four hundred and seventy-three. Okay, I eat all the cheese. I eat all of the cheese. <laughs> hey, huh? Um, remember what the doctor said about dairy? Yes. Right. Yes. Of course. You're the greatest. Thank you so much. I ate all of the cheese. Introducing Skyrim, very special edition. Oh my god. <laughs> coming soon to Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Motorola Pagers. Oh shit. And your Samsung Smart Refrigerator. Slim Noose. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah! <laughs> they just won E3, it's I th over. I thought that was gonna be a- That was a Nintendo, like, level I of, thought that of was gonna game. be a fake <laughs> Skyrim 2 trailer, but that was also very good. <laughs> had, to, had to do it, had to do it. Man. Okay, really, uh, we both know why you're here, and that's to talk about the next Fallout. I that's not, see, you gotta have the Howard for these conferences. He wasn't there last year. It was, it was terrible. Bad. He's here now, it's the best. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Is that why they made the beginning of this crappy to make him seem even better? Yes. Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed... He said four times bigger than Fallout 4. Let, let's face it. I find that hard to believe. I'm, I'm not trying to, like, crap on West Virginia, but there are no, like, strategic targets to get nuked in West Virginia. No, Josh, the war in Fallout is everything. Oh, okay. Everything. everything. It's okay. Everything. Again, waste of, waste of nukes there. There are a lot of nukes in Fallout. Oh, yeah. Remember, one of the weapons in it is a portable nuke launcher. Yeah. <clears throat> no one wants for nukes in the Fallout universe. Oh, no. Heck, there's one called uh, the Experimental Merv, and it shoots like eight of them at once. The mini nukes. The one thing about this is... for is those the same trailer? For those who are not... So. Yeah, just it's just a lead-in. Um, for those who are not familiar with the began. topography of West Virginia, the fact that Joey can say, this looks very similar to any Fallout format, is means that it is not 
an accurate representation of the topography. Yeah. West, when he says the hills of West Virginia, he means the mountains. <laughs> West Virginia is has extremely, has rapidly varying elevations. It is it is a continuous series of mountains and valleys, um, which to be which means it's a great setting for a cool open world game because it makes it real feel really different from everything else. But like. Some of this doesn't feel quite extreme enough to really sell me on it, but I also have barely seen any of it, so... Yeah, whatever. and that's the thing, is, like, we're just seeing select screenshots, which they should have selected a little bit better, but, but it's alright. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just observing that a West Virginia set game should actually feel really different from even some other American open-world set yeah. uh, games. Fighting has stopped, and the fallout has settled. You must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings. I don't know what that creature is, but it looks like a death claw with it's wings. It's probably like new. It. America itself. So have robots been maintaining the, the, the White that, House? Yeah. There have been cases of stuff like that mm -hmm. in the game. That wasn't the White House. Future yeah, it was. Begins. Okay. It was a the house white and it's white, too. don't you know? It's a house and it's white and it's in the United States. It's gotta be the White House. Dude, hopefully that's what Kim John Un thinks when he nerds us. Seen this. Vault 76, one of the very first vaults to open, was built to celebrate America's tercentenary. Which is an awesome word, by the way. Like, that's a, I've that's never heard that word in yeah. my life. Tercentenary. You are one of the very special few selected to be an occupant and spend 25 years underground waiting for reclamation day the day the vault opens we take humanity we take the earth back bring the legend back to life here we go you know what i'd really like to see what they can keep doing this i, no, I wouldn't care because i don't want it i don't want to talk over this too much so i'll make this very quick I'd like to see them announce a retro top-down RPG Fallout made by like Obsidian or someone, right? Because they do those. Uh, they do. They're those. never gonna work with Obsidian again because they can't admit that Obsidian did, made a better game than they can. <laughs> but if, like, if that's not even me joking. But that's if Obs the truth but if Obsidian it. made a game like that, it'd be sick. No, but I'm saying, but then it's totally different. You know, like it's why not. It's it not. With, it's not. Yeah, you're right. You know, it's not well, cramping their style. Why is it with Obsidian always getting raw deals with games? All right, we're done like, now. We're, we, now, now we gotta shut up so we can actually watch this. Might be something interesting happens. I just wanted to make that point really quickly. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. How many of them die the moment they walk out of the vault? Most of them. Ghoul. <laughs> Dude, ghouls have, like, they look horrible, but they have it pretty good in Fallout. Yeah, they're, like, the most intelligent race besides humans, right? Well. If not more. Well, it's like they're just humans that got super yeah. screwed up by radiation. Dude, they but almost... They, they become immune to radiation and healed by it, and they live for, like... We there are some ghouls that have been around since the bombs dropped. Yeah, ghouls are, like, very specifically humans who, yeah, basically survived nuclear blasts okay. and became, like you just said, they can live for forever. They just look weird. There are feral ghouls, too, though. Now, most people don't know West Virginia that well. Oh, it is an incredible array of natural wonders, towns, and government secrets. This is where the actual nuclear secrets are. And the quest the overseer sends you on will take you through six distinct regions, each with their own style, risks, and rewards. There's Holy crap, cool I need to visit West Virginia features, again, because I don't remember any of this crap. Use the folklore of West I don't Virginia. Virginia. I don't really like that for all. To life. I'm a fan of it. Yeah, I saw that in the thing. That's a horrifying concept for a monster. 
Not the bees! Where's the Mothman? That was the Mothman. That's not the real Mothman. That's like a, that's like the son of the Mothman. We always wanted to tell that story of what it would be like for you and the other characters who were first to leave the vaults. But there is one big difference with this game. Yeah, it's a multiplayer game. It's yep. that each of those characters is a real person. There you go. Yeah. And that's it's fine. a battle we, we, we royale basi game. We basically <laughs> Because it's yes, the, it's, it's the biggest battle. Fallout 76 is a battle royale game. Online. Oh, entirely. God. That just ruined it. Hold on. Okay. Let him know. finish. I know. know there's a lot, uh, you have like a thousand questions right now. So I'm going to go through them in yes, order. Yes, Todd, please. Sir, <laughs> Enlighten us, now, Todd. I'll a couple of the big ones. First, of course, you can play this solo. There. All right? That was okay, there, there we go. go. There we go. That You'll saved be it. Be who you want. Exploring a huge world, doing quests, experiencing a story, and leveling up. We love those things about our games, too. It would not have it any other way. But also, like many of you, we have always wanted to see what our style of game could be with multiplayer. So many of us talk about experiences in our games but we've never experienced them. The thing is, though, together. it's like the actual Fallout so and Skyrim style. It's like there's so ago, much pause and go. That we hit they're going to have to completely rebalance this. This, yeah. this is not going to be for Fallout. the same type of game. Yeah, yeah. you can't you can't pause survival. and eat 16 cheese wheels. You can't Every go into bats mode and kill something and real good. Is real. That is that is interesting. We'll have to wait and see. We just couldn't shake. We knew we had to do it oh, and right. do it in a really big way. Now, I know you may have played survival modes in like some of our previous games or some other online games, and we, you know, people wonder, is this hardcore survival? I like to think of it maybe, it's more softcore survival. <laughs> maybe that should be a new ESRB descriptor. Um, <laughs> death never means the loss of progression. Death isn't a concept in Kingdom Hearts. Your character Death is a failure of the game design. tied <laughs> to one server. As a matter of fact, you'll never even see a server when you play. You'll be in a world with dozens, not hundreds and not thousands of other players. Good. Yep, it's the good. apocalypse. It's not an amusement park, okay? <laughs> and you'll be able to join your friends whenever you want and all of your progression goes with you. So you can easily find your friends, and you might, and you, keep inventory. you might find other people. Okay. When we think about games, we think about worlds and the choices that you can make, the stories that you create and tell yourself. By creating a wide open world with very few rules, we have a game more than any game that we've ever done where the choices are yours where you'll decide what happens. You'll decide the heroes, and you'll decide the villains. Look, this is a whole new world for all of us here. And fortunately, our friends at vault -Tec have made a series of informational videos <laughs> okay, for when good. all of us emerge together. These videos was one of the better parts of Fallout 4, in my opinion, just because it's, it's in the style. As you venture out into this new American frontier, some of your fellow survivors may not oh. be neighborly. Well, they have to demonstrate the gameplay. Yeah, of so we'll cut. We'll transition between the two. Under attack. Okay. Well, that doesn't look like a sci-fi weapon. That looks like a World War II gun. It is. That's not a weapon. From I know. Fallout 4 either. I know. No, I mean, no. I mean, that that's is. A yeah. Brand new one no, well. what, I was, what I, my comment. I was observing that specifically to say there's probably not going to be a ton of sci-fi weapons. We're going to be looking at more quote traditional. American firearms because you know you're going back out there to with the enterprising American spirit. Six dwellers will be so hostile. Find them and brave the new world together. Whether you choose to explore the wasteland alone or with friends, your days will be filled with fun activities. Oh, this was on the. This was on somebody's uh, 
bingo card. It was uh, like reused music. From of the course. Other Fallout games. Oh, it always oh, this was used in a previous game. This was in Fallout 4. Okay, so we didn't get a new track. If I play this, that means I can't play like a coward anymore. Yeah. No, my, my point observing the weapon was simply like, that's not a science fiction weapon right out the gate. That's like yeah. an actual, you know, I mean, not, not that, not that as it like, I mean, there was science fiction in this world before the, you know, there were robots and stuff before the new mooks dropped and there were, you know, all, all kinds yeah, of but stuff, but all the same. I know what you're saying. And uh, like, I did see laser weapons. They're definitely going to be back. Like previous fallouts, you can play this game solo in quest. But the easiest way to survive in the wasteland is to team up and build together. And in this one, you can build wherever you want. And you can also then move that to wherever you want. But what if a player comes along while you're not online and destroys it all? After thermonuclear war, man's towering industrial marvels may no longer stretch to the heavens. What separates man from beast? It is his desire to build. Get started with CAPS. The construction and assembly mobile platform. Construct your home of the future. With your home secure, you can now craft handmade ordnance at your leisure to give your altercations that personal touch. <laughs> the issue is there's going to really need to be a need to make these because mm -hmm. there wasn't Fallout 4. And one of the leaks was saying like Fallout 4 was definitely the like fall, the whole Fallout 4 game was like just the test for this game. I don't know if that's true or not, but that seems to be the residing theory at the moment that most people believe. Scorch beast. Oh boy. That's not that's good. a sci-fi beast. Build things so that creepers can come and destroy it all effortlessly. Hey, if you don't build it, the Scorch Beast can't destroy it. That's exactly it. my point. The only thing I can even think of, like, for one of these bases of being helpful... Oh? Of being helpful is, like, build a base and set up a bunch of turrets and then lead strong enemies to it. Yeah. But who knows? Yeah, we love... Dynamic game systems. I kind of thought he was about to say we love so nukes. We thought, <laughs> that big picture of the nuke up there. Multiple nuclear missile sites on the map. Oh no. <laughs> kind of had to feel like he was about to say that. And then let all of you do whatever you want with them. <laughs> Today's episode: Atomics for Peace. Deterrence. Yeah, <laughs> we, we can test deterrence in a real-world world scenario. You know Snake, you must stop Peace Walker. Take friendly old neighbor Johnny. Rather than coming over to borrow a cup of sugar, he may now be coming over for murder. <laughs> the time has come to seek out greater means of protection. Nuclear armaments. That's right. Courtesy of your Uncle Sam, these wonders of the atomic age can be found right in your own backyard. But how does a fella like you acquire nuclear weapons, you may ask? Begin by inquiring with the locals. Gently coax them into cooperation. Use a little elbow grease if you have to. In the likely event you don't acquire a full code on your own, do not give up. Search for others who might be harboring a grudge. You'll have that nuclear launch code in no time. With the power of the atom at your fingertips, be responsible and consider your target carefully. Attention, launch sequence activated. You 
firing it somewhere else in the same state. Yeah, even if it's an extremely Building contained explosion, I'm just thinking like shoot out of a mortar. <laughs> a random stranger, the local wildlife. Whatever your target may be, take advantage of the resulting fallout to gather rare and valuable resources. That's cool. So there's like radiation variants. The immediate the problem that I'm thinking of with that is if you're jumping between different servers. Yeah. In I um, boot up one day. Oh, Charleston is a wasteland. I boot it up the next day. Charleston's fine. <laughs> Or yeah. I, I booted up the day after and I see my base has been nuked by like the rival faction, but I had to go to bed. And they're in Britain, so they just nuked we me later. We played a lot of our games and a lot of online games, but this one really is unique. We have built a platform, 100% dedicated servers that will support this game now and for years to come. And look, look, we know this is new for all of you. It's new for us. It's a little bit scary. And to that end, we're going to need your help. Because yes, we are going to have a beta. Yep. And it is sponsored by our friends at vault as well. The I thought he was going to say like Mountain Dew or something. <laughs> or Red Bull. Break it early test application. Because evidently, these online games are hard. They can have some nasty issues. <laughs> I, I read on the internet that our games have had a few bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I read it on the internet, so it's true. And that uh, sometimes it doesn't just work. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we know together that we are going to build something uh, really special. And we also know that all of you love our special editions, and we have an awesome collector's edition for you. It starts with a map of the world. That That's just West Virginia. Oh, I get it, because West Virginia is really important. Did you hear that? The effing dark. The and effing dark. That's right. West Virginia isn't a square. Who cares? So cool. It's got two panhandles. It has a very regular shape. Uh, Those parts got nuked. You can put oh. on the map. They got extra nuked. Oh, okay. And it also comes with a Fallout collectible that really I've always wanted, so we made them for everybody. Cards, to buy and stickers, hear it. excess Pip Boys that we haven't sold off previously. Up and fly right. The helmet. Yeah, it's gonna be the helmet. Oh yeah. Take the one. The classic. Cool down, Papa. Don't you blow your top. Ain't no use in diving. What's this is a the use song. of diving? No, this song's been around since the 40s. He means series. to the he means to the <laughs> series. <laughs> is he gonna is the lights gonna come back? The lights gonna come back up and he's gonna be wearing it? No. Dang it. That would have been clever. Real shame. That's a real missed opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. No, the lights shouldn't have come back up, he should have flipped on the headlamp in the darkness. Yeah. Power armor edition. So you're probably wondering, when is this game coming out? We're excited to say that it's coming out. It's coming out on it. November 14th. Wow. I thought I was going to say, he, he beat me to it. I was going to say it's coming out on um, uh, January 29th, 2019. <laughs> A fallout shelter, which we announced and released. And people liked right it. Right here yeah, at E3. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, it was and okay. And we have some cool surprises for you. Fallout I remember in, is coming in to the, to the PlayStation 4. Oh. I went to a I went to a new I was in a new school um three it, years ago when this game came out and the school had iPads the as like Nintendo their technology Switch. thing. Because <laughs> that yeah! guy said it, yeah. Um, Dude, but, Fallout Shelter would be perfect for the Switch. Yeah, but everyone in ninth grade had iPads and they were all yes, playing Fallout Shelter. It's still free. Um, Wait, it's not gonna be on Xbox. Why would it be? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anything that's not on Expo, I appreciate. It's still gonna be free. They're just pointing it, pointing it for funsies. Say, these versions are coming out tonight. Yeah, I was oh. guessing it's gonna be today. It's now I have to get on the as Switch. Out. No, you don't. No, nah, you don't. It's perfect for the Stop Switch. Stop doing this so to yourself. Much. The Elder Scrolls Blades. Like Fallout Shelter, we wanted an experience that we were not finding anywhere else. And here it is. 
Blades, at its heart, is a pure Elder Scrolls game. Oh. A massive first-person RPG with console-quality graphics, but with a uniquely on mobile experience. Shh. No. It's a Believe me when I say character. you have to see this running on an iPhone 10. This gigantic screen does not do it justice. You can tap to move or use dual sticks. Combat is all new, and it follows your specific the gamut system. movements and timings. Gamut system was ahead of its time. Don't mock it. I'm not. I'm, I not, I'm talking it. to the audience. And to the audience of uh, uh, watching our current video. Oh, yeah. Harkening back to Sorry, the you first four people. Elder Scrolls Arena, this game features both handcrafted and procedurally generated dungeons. Okay, that's kind of cool. It's not just melee. You have a range of abilities and spells you can use. Oh, that was great visuals. Yeah. Hmm. I want to see course, an overworld. You can create your own character and be who you want to be. Improving them, leveling up, picking new abilities. I want to know what the overworld looks like. Then I might be interested. I appreciate that they're trying to, they're and trying to, like, the, the and this is a, you know, they're, I trying mean, to, they're trying to make a real video game. If this is, like, under 10 bucks, I'll buy it. Like, honestly, it looks interesting. Yeah, this isn't, like, this isn't for me, but, like, this is fine. They're, they're putting in the effort, it seems, yeah. at least, and not very many people put in the effort for iPhone That's, games. I wonder if my S8 will run it. I think it will, because it has better specs than the, than the iPhone 10 and costs half as much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just dungeons. Okay, good. It's incredible outdoor areas. Yes, running on a phone. Towns. But notice, Joshua, that you've got closed in walls on either side of this small yeah. circular area, so don't get too excited. Towns. Towns. Joshua, it's not gonna be a it's not it's not gonna be a full Elder Scrolls game. Chill. No, it will be. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a baby's first Bethesda Elder Scrolls game. Yeah. That you can play on your phone, and that's fine. Just don't get your hopes up. Uh oh. What happened to this quality? Blaze Nothing we can do about it. Including Blaze Battle, Battle Royale. Royale. The Abyss, a That's it. Experience where you can see how far you can go in an endless dungeon. No. In the arena, where you will do battle one on one Royale. against other players. And the main mode, the town. This is the hub for your story and quests. You are a member of the Blades, the Empire's top agents. I thought they were all dead. Exile, spoilers. The, they weren't, though. Town. That's even forced bigger into, spoilers. Forced into exile, you return home to find your town yes, destroyed, Joey. also features a town building mode. You'll decide what your town... <laughs> Holy crap, it's bravely default. Right. ...upgrade and decorate all of the individual elements in it. As your town level... Okay, up, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. ...PCs, quests, and more. You can even visit your friend's town. I just realized something as I was listening to this. This means yeah. a new Elder Scrolls soundtrack. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right. This... Unless it's already used. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just thinking about like when, when Sonic Forces was announced and I was like, cool, a new Sonic album is coming out next year and apparently it'll this come with a game. This is an Elder Scrolls <laughs> game that you can play however and wherever you want. He's segwaying. And we are going to bring Blades to every device and system we can. Phones, including the PCs, Nintendo Switch consoles, also virtual reality. Mm. Oh, okay, so you don't just play it on your phone. Okay, it's so, designed yeah. to be played on your phone, but you can play it on other systems. No, no, it said VR on mobile, like Which Samsung really VR. All of those I heard. Connect to each other. But he said it'd be on consoles as yeah, well. I so and I mean, like the PS4 controller doesn't have a touch we'll screen on it. So. Portrait mode, like to call meeting mode. Because if you're in a meeting on your playing a game, in portrait mode, no one knows. You're playing a game. <laughs> and so with Blades, you could be in a meeting playing Blades against someone at home in VR. <laughs> That's kind of a funny thing to think about. Blades is coming this fall for free. Okay. okay. It's free to play. What? Wow. All right. I'm buying that then. Huh. And it's on Google and Play. You can Good. Pre-order it tonight 
on both the Apple Why pre-order a free People Google people are going to be upset this week, about like go to playblades.com They're going to get mad and say that this oh this is diverting access. assets early and resources access. from a real Elder Scrolls no, game. But yeah, it's not the same no, team. Not it's not the same team. So it's not the same thing. Not the same thing. Dude, it's early access. Running on the phone. We'd love to see you. Please come by. Yeah. Okay. Come uh, see you know it. what? Like that this is the first time I've seen something like this in the yeah. sense of it's on everything but built for phones. So, you again, know what? All of our fans That's interesting. I think more of that should be done. That's what yeah. I think Final Fantasy 16 should be. Yeah, fair. Over the years. It is so something that is built to specifically to run on and be played on phones and be a 16-bit throwback, it is an honor but it is just also available on everything for like to 15 to 20 bucks. Incredible people I wonder if Octopath could run on phones. No, no. I mean, it could. Phones are actually very powerful. I'm sure it could run. Maryland, Montreal, and Austin. There's Optimize a lot correctly of them here tonight. Run, sure. I want and take them some to hear your appreciation for their work. But I maintain that Octopath is not what I mean when I talk about a 16-bit yeah. throw. I know, I know. Octopath is a different beast. When I look at Octopath, it reminds me of 4K Minecraft. Yeah, it's Octopath awesome. looks very nice. It's just not what I'm the thinking. The lighting of is awesome in that game. It I finally really played good. the demo. It's really good. This guy putting his glasses on his mask. <laughs> yeah, he's nice. Just Is this over yet? The best team oh and group God. of people I could ever hope for. Ama amazing. Um, we also thought since we're all here together tonight, we'd announce so one special, more thing. Maybe we'd yeah. do something a little different too. Okay. Here's another concert. And there had so to be one more thing. So we finish with the mobile year. game. Yep. This okay. Skyrim Seven. <laughs> we have also been working on a Does brand that mean new gonna come out this year? next generation. No, it's next year. They already said it's next year. Game. Next gen. I heard. Oh, this is gonna be the new IP, isn't it? No. But this one is in an all-new epic franchise. Yeah. yeah. Our first wholly original franchise in 25 years. Since Home Alone on the NES. We're excited to announce our next adventure. Sky out. Fall room. <laughs> Subnautica. Dude, if it's underwater base, I'm already down. But it's it's, no, it's gonna be space. They haven't done a yeah, space no, game it, yet. It's obviously gonna be space. It's like the three genres they have. <laughs> Old, slightly new, in space. Knights of the Old Republic 3 by Bethesda. <laughs> or EA. <laughs> Don't think so. Dang it. <laughs> That's all I want e EA to do. Why does this keep going away? Starfield? Thanks, yeah. Elder okay. Scrolls Blades. So, it's a new IP in space. Gotta climb and it's for up it. for next gen, which means we won't see it until at least 2021. Yeah. Starfield is a game that we have spent years thinking about. They did say it was next. You guys said next gen. I didn't actually hear him say it. I, yeah, he said I'm next trusting you guys here. Uniquely positioned to pull off. And we said and next generation. Incredibly excited yeah, about. okay. But so that's the first next generation announcement, period. Other than, other than the Final Fantasy so VII remake, There's obviously. a game after that. And it's the Shh. one... You keep asking about. <laughs> oh. To to. oh, it's so. Are we getting Elder Scrolls? Yep, that's six. what it is. I knew it. So where is it located? You guys missed my awesome joke about my how that my, was the my first guess next is Hammerfell. Game announced oh, other than the Final Fantasy My my guess is Desert, aka Hammerfell. I'm wrong though. I already did Hammerfell, didn't I? Yeah, that was Daggerfall. I think was in Hammer. No, I'm right. Holy crap, I'm right. That's a desert. There we go. Wait, I thought it was called Skyrim 6. Oh, that was it. Okay. Yeah, there's just, it exists. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, there you go. Metroid, they they showed a JPEG of Metroid. Are you happening? <laughs> are you not happening? Are you happy? This is what you wanted, right? Okay, actually, now I'm really done. I just want to thank you all for your time tonight. The time you've spent in our worlds. We'll see you out there. Okay, that was good. That was yeah, a good conference. That was solid. They should have they that should have tightened a, up a, the beginning. 
That was a yeah. good B plus. The beginning was terrible, and I yawned like four times. To be fair, I think I think that I think that we are Mainly being a no little bit play. distracted by the excellent jokes in the back half once he was on stage, yeah. Yeah. which is probably inflating our opinion of what we saw a little bit. We only get him up here like once every three E3s, but boy, when he shows up, he brings the goods. <laughs> and now he disappears into the shadows again. <laughs> Take his Todd Howard suit off and go back to being a wizard man. I'd just like to say that I called it, and then it's totally in the desert. That's what it looked like anyway. It looked like desert shrubbery. I called it. We are whether it's a new Fallout game, a new Elder Scrolls game from Bethesda Game Studios that you can play on your phone for free. Rage 2, Doom Eternal, and so much more. We're really excited. Now, remember, if you want to be one of the first to play Elder Scrolls Blades or come to our booth tomorrow, Fallout 76 beta, you need to go to Bethesda Net or go to Bethesda Net. <laughs> it's easy and it's free. For all of you here with us tonight, thank you so much for joining. The party is going to continue afterwards. For everyone else around the world, thank you so much for joining us. Now go watch Devolver Digital. And a great E3. Yeah. When's Nintendo? That's all. That's a couple days from now, Joshua. Man. That's all I care about. That's not all you care about. Don't even pretend. You're right. All right. That was fair. That was, that was well okay. Done. I was After the, the travesty that was last year, that was great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't get too excited. It's just sizzle. I mean, I, I feel like, yes, we are in uh, our expectations or our grading is inflated just because the ending was such a good ending. I don't know. I just kinda had a feeling they wouldn't end on like that Starbound, whatever it was. I know it's not Starbound. I mean, that's they, another game. They ended on two nothings, but there you go. They but yeah, they had several games that I don't care about. But from from a more trying to look at it objectively, that's a solid lineup for a publisher to have going forward for the next year and a half. Yeah, yeah. And they're definitely they're probably gonna have the most as far as like we got jokes. They're gonna have the most entertaining conference out of all of them. Uh, I don't you, know. You Nintendo say, still yeah, to come. I was gonna say you still got a Nintendo Dude, conference you, coming. You're right. And you're Smash right. Brothers is. In so and Smash know. Brothers Battle Royale oh will will appear. <laughs> Reggie's going to fight everyone this year, not just Iwata. Dude, he can't fight Iwata anymore. No, he, I didn't want to go there, but you went there. I don't know why you no. said it.